Hey, it's Deb Collin, REMAX Realty Team. Lots of questions on this 3.8 tax surcharge. I've heard so many rumors, everything from every time I buy a home I have to pay to every time I sell a home I have to pay. So I did a little research and I'm hoping that you'll find the following information useful. What is this 3.8% tax surcharge anyway? Enacted as part of the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act of 2010, this surcharge will start in 2013 and certain investment income will be subject to an additional 3.8% surcharge. Basically, if your adjusted gross income is more than $200,000 for single or $250,000 for married, or if, you're, you, if you have net investment income, you may be subject to this surtax. Okay, let's say Bob's adjusted gross income is $250,000, of which $75,000 is net investment. His surcharge would be $50,000, the amount that exceeds the $200,000 limit for single. Dick and Jane's adjusted gross income is $380,000, of which $115,000 is net investment. Their surcharge would be $115,000 because the net investment is lesser than the $130,000 difference between their adjusted gross income and the $250,000 threshold for married filing joint. The professionals are saying there are some planning opportunities. You may want to accelerate gain or other income now in 2012 or consider delaying capital lost in 2013. Maybe utilize tax-exempt bonds and several others. I'm not an attorney and I'm not an accountant, but I do have some great resources. So if you need some contact info, give me a call and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening in. You know where to find me if you need me. Deb Cullen, REMAX Realty Team, specializing in Cape Coral, Florida. Wishing you palm trees, blue sky, and lots of sunshine.